Okay guys, uh, welcome back. We're going to do a uh, free to play deck. It's uh, kind of based on my main account, uh, Elemental Druid, I've been talking about and I haven't showcased unfortunately, but I'm going to probably do that today. Try to get around to it. This is a, on my free to play account. Basically, very similar. The only differences are, um, I don't think the other one has Druid of Claw, plus I have some legendaries. So... But for the most part, it's pretty much core the same. I only have one Innervate because ten Innervate tends to be a dead card a lot of the times. I might add another one, but I don't know. I, it's just there's so many games where Innervate just sits there and you have nothing to do. Can't use it. It's only good in the beginning, right? Towards the later end, it's not so great. Two Fireflies, uh, Glacier Shards. These guys are kind of, I think, the most value, valuable player, especially for Druid, because you could freeze an a th huge threat and deal with it maybe next turn, develop a board, freeze face if it's a weapon. Since uh, it's a free to play account, I added him. Good if you get a lot of uh, rogues and uh, any pirate type deck. While a gross wrath, two feral rage for healing, two of uh, these elementals, tar creepers, shell shifter, because I have it. Uh, swipe. This stone shaper is pretty good, Druid of Claw, because I don't have. Um, other uh, type stuff that I'm using for the other thing I was using, like that, uh, what is it called? Uh, the new uh, Druid Legendary. Obviously, I don't have that. Nourish. These guys, the Servants, and the Blaze Caller. So we'll see how it goes. I hope it does well. I haven't really played much uh, free to play, so, but let's go ahead and queue up, guys. All right, we have a druid, so we'll definitely get rid of druid the claw. You obviously want your fireflies. He's not too good. I mean, not, I'm sorry, not too bad against. I'm assuming it's slow, but it might be aggro him. We'll probably get rid of. But let's get rid of that because we want uh, wild growths if we can. Of course, your ramp. Uh, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Plus, we got the coin, so we could do this turn three, and um, or. Stuff. So let's see. He might be aggressive, so most of the druids these days are aggro token. So if you could just survive and control their board, you might be able to win. But if you fall behind, it's uh, pretty bad. All right, so free-to-play account. I haven't really played. I only usually traditionally get rank 20 for the free-to-play to get the card back, and then that's it. I concentrate mostly, obviously, on my... Um, main account but i might start doing uh, i was thinking today a, a free to play sunday where i just do a sunday uh deck for free to play it might be a kind of like a little mini series i might start all right uh, two two isn't too bad we could actually technically get rid of it we'll lose our minion though and um hmm. Let's do that. We have no indication of what kind of druid it is. I don't really want to be without anything, so we're definitely going to play that. We get another token, so that's good. I mean, a card in our hand. Next turn, we have the Tar Creeper, or if he doesn't put anything big, we could do the other three drop. I kind of didn't want to use the coin, because I kind of would love to have coined out him. All right, so he's like an aggressive type druid, it, look, it appears to be. We're probably going to have to play one of our little tokens and hero power that, assuming he doesn't get the four health. The plus health. If he gets the plus three health, that's going to be bad. We can't deal with it. We'll do Tar Creeper. It'll be able to get... All right, so that's not too bad. We'll have to hero power it. All right, we will definitely hero power that because we're not going to allow it to stay. I take a lot of damage, but to get rid of the threat. Next turn, we could do this. But it depends. I might do the elemental because I'd rather have him turn five and get full value for it. The main account, <clears throat> Elemental Druid's been a real fun deck. This is pretty much the same, almost. Almost. There's obviously some differences, so I have no idea how it's going to perform on here. Ooh, okay. That's not good. All right, so this is why I love this because, watch, I can't really deal with that effectively. We'll do this. Actually, I should have maybe trade one in there so when he trades, it'll... Well, actually, I'll deal with it next turn. So hopefully we get an answer. If not, we'll just have to use our minions to get rid of it. Uh, we're going to have to trade three. 
No, he has Tar Creeper. Die. I have no idea what kind of deck this guy has. And this is bad because now we don't have any kind of favorable training. We're trading. We're not going to be able to. Um, I guess we could do. I mean, we want to be greedy. I don't think we should be greedy here. We should. We have to play that. I'm going to trade one of these in here. Uh, so that way, if he does trade it, it'll destroy it. <clears throat> we played Elemental, so we'll be able to play the Servant and get value next turn. He still have no idea what kind of got, uh, deck this guy. This is probably another free-to-play type account, too. Or he's low budget. He just has a bunch of stuff he puts in there. Okay. We're probably going to have to hero power into that. We could actually play him. That'd be kind of... Oh, so he's trading. That's actually really good. So we could actually get rid of that. Alright, so what we're going to do... We're not, is that a pirate? <laughs> Talk about awesome. Okay, now... Ah, oh man. The best play would obviously be this. And then we... But the thing is, I really, really want to get value out of that next turn. But nah, let's let's play the what's the best move. Obviously, I don't get any. Uh, only have one of those. Two of those would be kind of cool. So in, in this game, this crawler got a lot of value. Obviously, it would have been easy for me to remove it, but still, I can retain my board and uh, get a nice buffed minion. So you can't complain. Now, the only one thing I don't like is the fact that the Blaze Claw... Ooh, that has to die. If I get the Blaze Clawler right now, it's going to really, really suck. He has to die, so let's look at what we're going to do here. We have... We could trade these two minions in. They'll live. This has to die. Uh, we have any other way of dealing with it? No. So we're going to do this. Uh, let's see. Let's try to see if we could keep our minions uh, intact. Yeah, we do lose this one, but... Uh, Ooh, actually, I made a misplay there. I should have done... Well, wasn't thinking that through. I thought he had to attack for some reason. Alright, well, uh, forgive me for that. Alright, hero power, and then we'll play two of these. Alright, anyways. My initial thing was going to be trading these two into the 2-6. Uh, and then uh, my hero... Uh, the What's it called? The Feral Rage into the 3-3. Three, three. It didn't quite work out that way. For some reason, I thought this guy had to attack. I don't know why. All right, this guy's dick, but this is such a huge threat. Um, all right, so we don't have um, Blaze Caller yet. Ooh, speak of the you know Baron would be really good next turn, but I, I'm gonna take this. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna flood the board. Um. I don't know. We could let him trade or we'll just deal with it. We just might as well deal with it. I know it sucks, but... What does this guy do? Mm. Alright. That was very, very messy, but it's, it's either I deal with it or he deals with it. I could have technically left it up for him to... um. Yeah, that I wouldn't say that's the best play, guys. I should have let him do the trading. That way, um, I get uh, he has to trade into stuff. But uh, I don't know. I have to deal with it anyways. He could have just left it up. He would have killed my uh, taunt, obviously. All right, so let's see if he puts anything in down there. All right, he doesn't. So we're definitely going to do this. You know, I'd rather get some stuff on the board. If we're ahead, the more that we're ahead, the better. Kind of don't like flooding the board. Depends on your opponent. Obviously, a druid doesn't have usually good area effect. They usually only have swipes, so flooding the board against the druid's not always a bad thing. 
Yeah, that turn was pretty sloppy. I should have left the minion up and let him do the trading. And we're definitely not trading into that. We'll let him do it. Ooh, wait a minute. Flames consume you. Actually, I should have used that. For the wild. Yeah, that was a misplay. Because... I could have kept, um... Minion alive. Wow, such sloppy plays this game. Yeah, I should have traded the other one. That way I have a minion on board. But, oh well. I think I have a pretty dominant board here, so it's pretty good. But, yeah, sloppy, sloppy misplays. I'm not focusing, and I apologize for that. So many misplays. Oh, Drew, why would he interview? Oh, he must have another five drop. All right, so we do have swiped it. Ooh, that's kind of annoying. Why would he? Oh, okay. That's annoying. All right, we have enough for this. We're going to do this. Let's see what we get out of here. Oh, we're definitely taking that. All right, so we're going to do this. Unfortunately, I can't hear a power. I could have actually done that even better too, right? That way he can't get rid of the 6-2. Protects the board a little bit better. Yeah, that was kind of bad. I was being really greedy trying to get the card draw from this. Ah, he should have kind of buffed that. No, that way it would be harder for me to take out. I'm going to definitely... Uh, Trade with this hero power, and then uh, all right, so let's see what we get here. Mm. Actually, I should have took the other elemental. I took, took so what we'll do is we'll deal with that later. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I missed lethal. A natural mistake. Yeah. What do I tell you guys? I always focus too much on the board and never the never my opponent's health. Hmm. But a win's a win. Still such sloppy plays on my part. Such sloppy plays. But anyways, minus my hor horrendous uh Decisions. The game. These. This deck. I think's a lot of fun, especially the main one. I'll probably be showcasing that later today. Oh, I got some uh, days. Well, let's go ahead and queue up again, guys. Let's see how we do. This time, let's let me focus better. But um, yeah, I get a like that last turn with the servant. I should have selected the frost elemental. I think it was. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be a real test of the deck. I don't know if uh, hunters run any kind of pirates, but. Uh, the Tar Creeper is definitely good to keep. So is Swipe, but we're not going to keep it this time because we have a 3-drop. Uh, we want Wild Gross, obviously. Wrath. Nourishing. Well, I got Swipe back. So, anyway, that's a horrible, horrible start against a Hunter. It's just, ooh, okay. At least we have a 2-drop. If he has a, if he has patches, it'll, that'll be nice. But I doubt it. I don't think uh, most, uh, most um, Hunters don't run... Uh, any kind of pirate package, but uh, no matter what, I would have played this for tempo anyways. You, you have to get something on the board. Next turn we have Tar Creeper, or we could Hero Power for anything he gets on the board. Alright, so he does a Hero Power. Not great, but it's not bad either. So we're off to actually a decent start. So we have Swipe for anything that he puts out there. If you put some small minions, like the... What is it called? Okay, this guy's free to play then. Um, Alright, this turn, we don't have... We're not going to... Oh, man, what sucks is I'm not going to be able to... Hmm. I mean, I guess I could... No, I want to retain my board. I mean, I don't really like swiping it, but... I mean, I could hero power and I'd lose a minion, unfortunately. Uh, no. 
That's one negative thing about Tar Creeper is you don't have good attacks. So you can't really do good favorable trading. Okay, so next turn we're probably unfortunately going to have to play him for tempo. Or maybe we... Alright, yeah, that we're going to have to... Oh man, see, I should have waited. Waited swipe would be so nice right now. And Ryle close action, not too bad. We're going to have to hero power that, and then we'll trade into one of those. Uh, we could play that, but we can't. Um, we could actually nurse and... Uh, but I want to use get ramp going. Unfortunately, we haven't played any elementals for a couple turns, so that's actually really, really bad. Because uh, turn 7, uh, having him for his battle cry would be so awesome. But uh, we could have done a uh, ramp uh, for crystals, but... Um, I don't know. I, okay, he's free to play, so if I, like me, but I think I have a better deck because he has a lot of garbage cards. Alright, so playing that is going to be awesome. Uh, mm. I really want to use this for ramp. That way we could do this. I know I float him a knob, but I want to get this guy going next turn. Otherwise, I would have played him. So first of all, I would use my mana more effectively. But his battle cry is just going to be so big, nice in case he has high main. If he has a high main, it will be really good. Okay, well, it doesn't have high main, but I'll definitely use a battle cry for that. So we get a big minion. Well, not big minion, but enough to... Uh... Alright, so we do that. We do that. We hero power. God, I'm really tempted to doing this. No. Alright, so next turn we have Divine Shield, which will be very helpful. And we have him for card draw. We'll see what happens. I was thinking about hero powering into that to uh, tr hero power it again, but uh, I don't really want to take tougher. Oh, man, that's the worst one. Yeah, he says, well, it wouldn't have really made a difference. Typical Hunter. Base is the place like an idiot. Alright, so we're definitely going to do that. Uh, we're going to do... See, we're not going to be able to deal with any of that, so we're going to do that. To we'll do this. Ooh, of all these, I think this is probably the most useful, maybe? Yeah, because if he trades into that to pop the shield, we could, uh... Ee, uh I think that's probably the most useful. And we're going to do... Ooh, that's actually kind of bad. Reason being is... Uh, um, I did that so in case he trades in. Also, it helps me trade a little bit better. Um, play around uh, Unleash the Hounds a little bit. So, yeah, Druid's usually pretty poor against uh, garbage hunters. So, we'll see. This guy's obviously very... Um, small deck but uh we'll see so this will be kind of nice because we could maybe hopefully get in oh we definitely gonna get rid of that all right so he trades into that he gets rid of that so to see that play came in really nice we will take that out for tempo i mean we could technically go for oh okay that's either explosive trap or um or uh freezing trap or it could be snake trap it's probably explosive Alright, we're definitely going to get rid of... See, alright, so let's see how we're going to do this. If this is... We could actually... We're going to do this because... Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind getting him back, but we're going to do this. Alright, so it's not freezing. Uh, If it's, it's most likely explosive, it's not, it could be bear trap. If it's explosive, I'd rather not lose my minion. I'd rather keep him on board to uh, trade. I could use it uh, to kill out one of his big minions, like a high main or something like that. It's most likely, uh, wow, he saw a minion like that. Hopefully he doesn't get something nasty. Oh, that's bad. So I'm glad I didn't trade into it. 
him because uh, I'll use him to get rid of that and then we'll use one of these other minions here. Uh, well, poisonous is okay. Alright, so this is most likely, uh, we'll, we'll test it out in a minute. Alright, we have to get rid of that no matter what. Let's test it to see if it is explosive. Oh, misdirection. Oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Well, and we're... You know what? We're going to lock down his face. No way if he has his eagle bow, he can't use it. We're out of cards, though, but at least we played elemental just in case. Okay, divine shield, that's... We probably what is it gonna do there? Uh, Alright, well greetings, traveler. I don't know, maybe we should just ignore that, right? Ah, oh, see this is why I hate innervate, because it's just such a dead card a lot of times. Alright, so we got to do this. He can't kill the Druid of the Claw, so if he has another dr Ooh, that's pretty bad. We're going to have to probably ignore him. You're on a timer. He's out of cards, too. Ooh, this is really good. Hopefully we get something really big like another Blaze Clotter, because if we do that, I'll be able to get rid of him. Oh, not quite what we need. Uh, we need to take get, get rid of that. Okay, so if we get a swipe, we win. Uh, actually, we got lethal on board. Even if he trades into that, he these two will live, hopefully. And then uh, we'll just hero power. So we have lethal. Let's see what we get. Good game. I think I played that one much, much better than the first. I could have done things a little bit differently, maybe. But uh, anyways, you guys get an idea of this elemental druid deck. This is obviously on my free-to-play account. I don't have all the nice legendaries that the main account does. But I will be showcasing that. It's a very good tempo deck. It's a lot of fun. And I don't think a lot of people expect it. All right, guys, I will definitely do some more um, Elemental Druid in the near future on both accounts. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye.